I'm going to be measuring the temperature of my Convoy S8 with the Zoe ZT R01. It's got an infrared thermal camera. So let's turn this on. This is on 100%. I think it's got the Osram W2 in there. And you can see on the right side of the display, the max six, you know, going up 28 degrees Celsius, 29. Yeah. And you can see the camera also visualizes stuff in the background, it's got a normal camera plus uh, you can sort of hit this button to toggle a little bit more between this sort of thermal style display to uh, you know just a completely normal display like that okay and then it sort of degrees in between so look at that it's 50 degrees celsius how far is this thing gonna go it's getting pretty hot 53, 54. This is going to be pretty useful with my flashlight reviews. I think just having a, a little visualization of this, maybe at the top end of the ramp uh, when the light's been on, you know, ceiling bounce test for a few, you know, a few minutes, I'll be able to figure out what it is, what the maximum temperature is. 62 point, you know, 63. Oh, it's pretty hot. Like, yeah, that's why you shouldn't be using these these lights on turbo for too long, especially uh, especially some of these convoy lights. Uh, it's good to have that setting on there though. But 63 seems to be topping out at 63. Um, yeah, this thing is so cool. I've never seen. Yeah, well, this is my first thermal camera, and I've never seen one on a multimeter before. But let me know what you guys think. Is it, do you think this will be helpful for my future reviews? Would you like some of this data included? Let me know below.